is welcome. Join us as we embark on a journey into the heart of so chivalry, cool, huh? the bold knights of elegant horses, and the quest for a champion. The hundreds of knights in service to the Queen have boldly petitioned Her Majesty to hold the great tournament in order to find one who will stand as protector of the realm and defender of the throne, a warrior who wears the crest of the Queen, and in all things the bringer of the Queen's grace, or the instrument of the Queen's justice. In one passage of arms after another, these six knights have arisen as the finest in the art of war. From the western marches come the champions of Castilla, Santiago, and Navarre, the red knight, the black and white knight, and the yellow knight. Of Leon, Perilola, and the Valiente, the Green Knight, the Red and Yellow Knight, and the Blue Knight. Listen, my friends, the moment has arrived when I must weigh your spirits. My lords, my ladies, tell me, how shall you cheer the heroes who have come this day to toil in honor of your kingdoms? Give me your voices! Mine too. <laughs> you want some more bread? Stand bravely and face the pounding charge of the bull. For the city of Elite has summoned this mighty beast, <laughs> bearing upon his banner and shield the pride of the bar. Meet this fearsome warrior face to face. Or know the uncertainty of the blow as you run from his approaching terror. And the earth tremble under the holes of this noble house. Right for the Yellow Knights. It has been said that to watch him ply his deadly trade with sword and shield is to know that the devil is loose. Never has he been vanquished in his labors upon the field of battle, and the house of Paralama shall remain standing defiant in the setting sun. Joyous in victory, or stalwart and unbound unto the bitter end. 
if bitter it must be, I give to you now, Lord of Hunt, the red and yellow knights. Tread lightly in the dark, my friends, for the lion sleeps with his eyes open. The work and dreams of a lifetime are swept away with a roar from the deathless house of Castilla. Great is the grief of the noble houses whose balance have fallen and been crushed under the weight of the lion of Calahorra. Hear the darkening roar of terror on caves. Behold the young lion that hurts the red knight. Grace is great, for none save the nobleness of her own house are permitted to bear the stag upon their shield. And yet this boon has been granted to your champion. Is he the greatest of us all? Let the coming contest measure him, and let the song be then written. Shall it be joy or lament for the champion of their the Green Knights? She bears the scepter and wears the crown in the company of her royal household and those chosen to serve you this day. I present your host, Her Sovereign Majesty, Doña Maria Isabella. The Queen! The Queen!
Ah, Lord Cedric, good Chancellor. Where have you been? A thousand pardons. So many details. Very much me. I present you the finest, bravest, and most renowned champions in the realm. My Lord, we are most pleased to host this celebration. And I thank you all for inviting the nobles from near and far to join us. Your petition surprised and delighted me, for the crown has been without a champion since the passing of my father, the king. Good captains, take your leave. Our guests await the entertainment and the feast. My lords, my ladies, raise the cheer for the knights of the realm. Insolente. Courage and strength herald the arrival of the Spanish force onto the field of battle. 
and the Holy Father both tested all the gift to perform that awaits us. I present Capitan, the sire of countless champions, who even now grace the castles of kings and queens throughout the world. Performing for you the victory march, celebrated by returning heroes, the Spanish Walk. Capitan, where some horses possess courage and strength, so will others be known for elegance and glories. All hail the Lord. Grab your scroll, please. Grab your scroll. Songs of Austin, who is renowned as the pride of the Emperor in the East. Here, my friends, is grace in motion as the Lord performs the facade. You like this? It's fun, huh? Look at the queen. In the center of the arena, the marching place. The EPR. And once again, in elegant and well, the facade. My lords, my ladies, the lot. And finally, mightiest of the queens, that there is David. They say of the Midday Titan, who was doomed to uphold the sky, comes at less. As the peal of thunder will ring in the mountains, so will the rumor of the approach of Atlas onto the fields right near and all into the hearts of the enemy. The Capriol! Once more into the center of the arena. <laughs> Magnificent Atlas. Well done, my lords. You do me great honor in the showing of my treasures. How are we all doing good here? My lords, my ladies, they salute you all. And now, we retire the Queen's Pride. Here is Insolente, proud Capitan, noble Galant, and bold Atlas. Away to the stables, there to find rest and reward the Dominoes. <laughs> the castle of Her Majesty is filled with creatures, both great and small, a hoof and wing. A um, wing indeed, and prize among them is Lady Luna. Many of them have the massive of hawks to the stop the great force oh, in the hunt. Falcons on our faces, in an ancient ceremony that dates back to time forgotten. Have her bring her forth. With winged hunter upon her fist, it is my honor to present Lady Lindsay, Her Majesty's Master Falconer. Serves and wenches, it is time to clear the aisles and prepare for the Falcon's flight. Now be still, my noble guest, and do not seek the attention of this mighty bird of prey. Remain in your seats, and do not attempt to distract her from her purpose, for the talons are sharp and the keen eyes locked upon the task. The Falcon poised for flight has come to a footed, but once the hood has been removed, the angel dance of the hunter and hunted begins. Behold, she takes wings.
sure walks lively in Lindsay that the charge remains keen to the Lord. The falconer must allow the bird a little of the meat off the blue to ensure that she remains keen or hungry for flights in the future. And then, as you can see, my lords, my ladies, she's enticed her back to her glove. To fist and to feast. Well done, my lady. But now the number for the chair, my lady Lindsay, a majesty master falconer, and her mighty bird of prey. And now, dear Chancellor, the falcon has eaten. What of our feast? All is ready, Majesty. And how is it, Lord Cedric? <laughs> Majesty. Come, come, Cedric. What feast has ever been served in this great hall? That our good Chancellor has not sampled freely. Well, 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 I, I may have indulged a little bit of the chicken if I can uh -huh. say. Oh, you fuck me, Your Highness. I'm just with you. Let the honor be yours, old friend. Very well, very well. And then I say, let the feast now be served. Majesty, your elite guard awaits your pleasure. Oh, the guard? Yes. Well, most unusual for just this day. I spoke to the captain and, and he made no mention of this. calm yourself. I have asked the captain and his guards here to entertain my guests. Lord Marshal, summon the guard. Oh. 